How's it going guys? Really quick one today. I've discovered a bit of a, a bit of hack really for doing stub tenons or haunch room for setting the depth of your haunch or your stub tenon in the mortise. So I ordered a, a router bit from Trend. As you know, they've been helping me out with stuff for the YouTube videos. I put an order in with various different cutters, etc. And this is one of the cutters that I actually ordered. So I'll put a link in the description for you to have a look at that and check that out yourself. Not particularly expensive, it's a really good cutter. But I originally ordered this because it had the double bearing on the seat and the, the cutter isn't actually very tall. So when I'm doing my hinge jigs and stuff, I can use a thinner piece of material to make the hinge jig from because it allows you still to do a nice shallow depth of cut and that double bearing will run better on your jig without denting it and making the jig bigger over time. But what I did discover once I got the bit was the 9.5mm diameter fits perfectly in my cabinet door 9.5mm mortise. So what I have been looking for for quite some time is a router bit that would do that particular cut in the bottom of these mortises to give me that perfect depth setting for a stub tenon or haunch. So if you set this really so the tip of the shank is in the router, I can get a 45mm cut on the, uh, on the router here. So a 45mm depth of cut is about perfect for a normal door haunch depth room. So from the sort of inside edge of your style, 45mm is perfect. So this cutter should do everything that I, I need from a haunch cutter. And with the double bearings there, it's absolutely perfect. We're going to get a nice, perfectly square, perfect depth haunch, as you can see there. It's lovely and smooth in that mortise socket. And that's been mortised out on my traditional mortiser using traditional methods and then finished off with this afterwards. So I'll just show you it with this and then I'll show you pushing a joint together. So here we go, we've got a really, really wide rail in this joint here. So it's 230mm wide, so I'm just going to mortise this out all the way. But what I am going to do is when I mortise in, this is the inside edge of the rail. So this will be the inside of the opening and this will be clear space within the frame. So that's where the edge of the rail finishes and that's the outside of my cabinet mark there. So on this inside mortise, I'm going to set the chisel right on that line and mortise in there first. But I'm just going to adjust the depth stop so it goes about 10mm deeper than it needs to. So if I show you on the end of the piece of timber, so I've drawn roughly on the tenon here. So in the normal position, I've set my chisel so that the, the lowest part of the cut from the mortise chisel doesn't go beyond the length of the, the tenon that I've got going into the wood. So there'll be nothing showing once I've cleaned it out with the router, none of this, the bottom of this chisel cut will show through into the finish cut. But just for the, for the start and the finish of the cut, so the finish of the cut will be out the end of the rail, so it won't matter anyway, but the, the start cut on the inside edge, I'll just do a little bit deeper, and that gives the router a bit of room to start and stop without getting gummed up with the waste material. So on the outside here, I'll just go a bit deeper. And I change the position of the stop, so I'll move this. And again, I go deeper on this cut. So I've just cut the end off this piece so that you can see when I do the cut how it works. But in effect, the dropped mortise hole on the outside of the rail is somewhere for you to drop the cutter in. And equally, the, the one that I've dropped a bit deeper on the inside edge where it doesn't actually matter is somewhere to clear 
when you finish or start the cut from this side. I'm going to go from this end first so you can see a bit of a camera shot to up to here and then go from the other end to finish the cut. Now we have an absolutely beautifully clean bottom to that mortise. When I put the super wide rail in here, so I'll use the one that I've done the bevel on already to show you guys. We should end up with an absolutely perfect joint all the way along that rail. So, a bit of a game changer. I've always struggled when you get uh, get the haunch depth incorrect on a door and you, you've cut them all by hand. It's a right pain to uh, you usually find out with one or two are, are slightly wrong on the depth when you get to the stage of doing the glue up. And uh, if you didn't trial, trial run and, and tap the door together, which when you're doing about 10 or 20 doors in a single batch is just a bit too much work. So you tend to check one or two and then start gluing them together and when you get on your final clamp up and the haunch room is stopping you from gluing like clamping the shoulders up tight it can be a real pain so this router bit is really going to save me quite a lot of time and it should make for better results in the doors so instead of just doing a, a bit at the top of the mortise that was the right depth and then going deeper to guarantee a joint fit in the mortise I can just do this all the way along the joint and I know it's dead accurate and going to be perfect all the way. So hope you enjoyed this one it's uh, not much of a video but uh, it's definitely going to be a game changer for me and I wish someone had done this video that I could see it uh, a few years ago because it has saved me no end of work. So just to clarify if you're doing any sort of joint with a mortiser that is a stub tenon or got some form of haunch where the mortise doesn't go right through the piece and your mortise is above 3 8 of an inch in width then this cutter should really help you out. So it's the very same principle for a little rail like this. So 70mm mortise, I've just done a practice tenon on the end here, so ignore that. But uh, so you've got the chaff in the bottom of the mortise there. Tell you what, let's cut that off. Left from the mortiser in here. So I've done a single mortise in at the inside edge a bit deeper than my stub tenon depth so I can drop the router bit into that mortise that's a bit deeper so the router seats on the piece of wood the depth of the cutter is set to the length of the tenon turn the router on and router out to the end get rid of all the waste that's in there we're left with an absolutely perfect bottom to that mortise that is completely cut right up to this square shoulder because that mortise or chisel has gone down beyond that cut. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.